Hello, welcome, happy new year. Let's get straight down to business. There's a few issues with using a DSLR camera as a webcam with OBS or any other recording slash streaming software. The first thing you need to learn is the following. Control Alt Delete. Go to Task Manager. And I want you to look at this right here. The Service Host Windows Camera Frame Server. Notice that it takes up about 5 to 7% CPU alone. Your mileage may vary. When you start up OBS or your preferred recording software and you do not have your camera on, what's essentially going on is your computer is looking for that DSLR. Hey, where is it? Where did it go? Oh no, I'm stressing out. I'm not happy. And that alone is going to spike up to some 20 to 27%. And then you're going to be idling at like 45, almost 50%. And you're going to be wondering what in the blue pineapple is going on. I can't even get my CPU to go that high when I'm playing Call of Duty or World of Warcraft or any other game for that matter. So you're going to want to either turn on your camera, let it run if you don't mind that, but that's always going to chew up almost about 7% of your CPU. Or go ahead and just right click on it and go to end task. And then it'll make sure, do you want to make sure that you want to end this process? And you absolutely do. So again, if you're going to record, not use the camera, do that. When you're done with your camera, don't just shut off your DSLR. Again, that's going to spike it up as well. You're almost going to have to, each time you're done recording, and you don't want to let the camera run in the background, control alt delete and the task, okay? Or at your own discretion, you can just let the camera roll on all day and just have that extra 7% being used up. I like my CPU idling at 6 or 7%, not 20%. But I'm recording, it just comes with the territory. So that's problem number one. Do that. There is no actual fix as far as I'm aware. This is like a band-aid workaround. Moving on to the next thing that you may or may not know. When you start your software, especially OBS, I don't use anything else. This is a free open source software. I'll leave a link in the description for people that may not be aware of it. I use this for everything. Since the dawn of time I've been on YouTube, which is only a couple of years, I use OBS Studio. It is just amazing. There's another one that's uh, the same company as these guys. It's called Streamlabs or Steam Labs or something like that. I personally don't like it, but that's because I use fancy filters for my microphone that are quite expensive and you can't use these VST plugins with um, Streamlabs OBS. So if you want to use like a DS or a professional EQ, a noise gate, so that you don't hear the fan blowing behind me 100 miles an hour, that's all thanks to those VST plugins and the fact that OBS Studio will let me use those plugins and Streamlabs will not. It is not VST friendly. Moving on. When you first start your camera go ahead and tap on the actual camera location here, webcam location, so that you get these uh, red little dots. Go ahead and hit the left alt key next to the space bar while you're holding down the left alt key. Left mouse click on one of these red things. And look at that. You could drag it out. Now that it's red, that's the full screen. That's the full image. Let's go ahead and do that there so that it's all red. When it's all red, this is the full deal. This is the real McCoy. What do you notice? Maybe not on your end because the bar is lit up, but there's a little bit of a black border at the top and at the bottom, very subtle. So go ahead while holding the left Alt key down and just drag it up a smidgen, just a smidgen. Boom, that got rid of the black bar there. That got rid of the black bar. We don't like this. So you can leave it there. I mean, this is still widescreen-ish. You can do this again at your own discretion. I kind of like to make it look a little bit cleaner that way. Because a lot of people, what they'll do without the Alt key is they'll resize the whole thing like this. There's nothing wrong with that, but that won't get rid of your black borders. This way you can kind of customize your own custom ratio. And especially if you do the webcam in the corner thing, you don't need to have an absolute perfect symmetrical 16 to 9 aspect ratio 1920 by 1080. I mean, this is still technically 1920 by 1080 for the lack of a better term in terms of resolution, but obviously it's no longer 1920. It's like 
I don't know, 1540? Who cares? The resolution is still the same. You're just essentially cropping in real time is what's going on there. And every time you start, at least OBS, with a DSLR camera, you're going to notice that if I were to shut this down and restart it, it may not always look like this, especially if you reboot your computer. It's almost like it doesn't save the settings. And even though I'm using the cheap um, stock kit lens that comes with the Rebel T3i, I've had this thing for like a decade and some, uh, but it's way better than my Logitech C920 webcam, which everybody and their mother's aunt's cousin's sister's stepson has. That made no sense, but it did to me. It'll just come in at different like zooms and stuff, and it's like, what's going on? And I find like I have to almost recrop and re-zoom in real time because I have to physically go to my lens and, and turn it in order to like zoom in and out, right? Like I have an actual physical lens on there, DSLR. Uh, so if you find that that's happening, don't freak out. You can get annoyed that you have a high-end camera and you still have to fiddle-diddle-daddle every single time that you want to record. It takes a couple of seconds. Just get in there, fine-tune everything. You know, sometimes I start my camera and it feels like it's zoomed right in or I'm cropped out. Just go ahead and fix it like that and then just get into it and kind of make sure everything seems to be about where you want it and start recording. It's just some of the prep work you're going to have to do each time. Again, to recap, every time you're done recording... I would advise you turn off your camera because it chews up almost 7% of your CPU. Again, control, alt, delete, task manager. Look for that service host, Windows camera, frame server. More than likely, it's going to be right at the top of your list <laughs> for CPU usage. And uh, again, you'll just want to right-click, end the task. It'll say, hey, are you sure you want to do this? I'm sure. And then once you shut it down from there, then you can go and physically turn off the camera. And again... Don't forget that when you start at least OBS and your camera is off, it's going to panic. Hey, last time I was open, there was a camera here and it was a pretty cool one too. Where'd it go? I'm looking for it. And it's almost like it's hyperventilating. It's having an anxiety attack, which is something I have all the time. So I kind of relate. So you have to chill out the CPU, either turn on the camera, don't turn on OBS, although you probably turned it on because you need to use it. I'm just saying. I sometimes have it running in the background even when I don't plan on recording because it's just habit, just to kind of have it there in case something happens and I want to record. I just hit my hotkey and I go. That's more what I meant by that. Just be consciously aware of that. Uh, and again, a good whopping 15%-ish usage extra will be used on your CPU just having this running in the background doing nothing. Like, that's pretty wild. So that's why they say you need a strong computer when you're streaming. And then if I go and I open up a couple of more web browsers, you're on YouTube. I mean, you're going to chew up more CPU usage than running the actual game you're trying to record or stream or whatever it is that you're trying to do on YouTube or Twitch or wherever else you are. So that's just a little bit of information I wanted to share with you. A little under 10 minutes, which is really good because I tend to ramble and rant a lot. I do try really hard to get to the point as fast as I can, which is why I sometimes talk really fast. Well, that is just a part of my personality. But I also like to get long-winded a little bit too and recap on things because I don't want you to have to constantly keep like rewinding my video. I want it so that if you watch the whole thing from beginning to end, you left knowing everything that you need to know. So high CPU usage issue. No permanent fix that I'm aware of. And the whole black border, you know, live cropping stuff. Those are the two biggest things that I wanted to address and share with you to start off this year. We're still in a pandemic, right? Still pretty serious stuff. There's been a massive spike in people that are podcasting, recording, uh, you know, more than ever. So I thought this would be a good way to start the years by showcasing this how-to. If you have any additional questions, go ahead and ask me down below in the comment section. I won't necessarily have the answer for you, but I can try and help you look for it if you haven't been able to do so on your own with the almighty Oracle Google. Uh, that's how I found out about all this other stuff. I just didn't like how some people 
talked about it. I was left. Wait, what? You know, having to rewind the video. Anyways, we're about, oh, we just hit 10 minutes. I fucking ruined it. Anyways, hopefully it's a happy new year. I won't say happy new year because it's not done yet. It just started. I'll tell you December 31st of this year if it was in fact a happy new year. And uh, if you like the video, you could go ahead and subscribe, you know, and give it a thumbs up. It helps support the channel if the algorithm makes me more relevant in the search results is what actually a thumbs up will do. If you want to try and ruin my life, you can go ahead, as always, and give it a thumbs down. Just be aware that I'll probably put you in a wrist lock and snap it off in your ass. But, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, that's it. Hopefully I'll see maybe at least some of you in the next video. I got bills to pay. Bye for now.